Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1002. And if you want to download this workbook 1000 to 1002, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have some code and we have a pretty tricky task here. We need to find the 11, change from 11 to 13, but the 11, notice there's some other 11s. There's an 11 there. There's two 11s. We only need the 11 after the third dash. So this one would have to have the same thing except for a 13 there. Same thing except for a 13 there. The other ones need to remain the same. But if we change this to a 14, these would all remain the same. And this one would have to have a 13 replace that 14. All right, this is going to get pretty tricky. We're, we're going to start with the substitute function. And the problem is there's multiple dashes, right? So if we searched for a dash, there's no way, at least I don't, I don't know how to search for a particular instance. So we'll use the substitute first because the substitute function will allow us to tell us the instance. So I'm going to say here's the text, comma, what am I looking for? The old text is in double quotes a dash, because there's many dashes here, right? Comma, the new text, I'm going to pick something that will never be in here innately. So I'm going to pick like the pound sign in double quote. And here's the argument that's going to help us. Instance number, I'm going to say 3. So all it's doing is it's going to put this new pound sign wherever it finds the third dash. Substitute. So now we can search for that pound sign and get the position, which will help us isolate uh, the, the two digits following that. All right, F2. Now I'm going to do search. And I'm going to search for what kind of text? comma, I mean double quotes, pound, double quote, within what? Within that um, substitute text string right there. We uh, The last argument we can leave out. Notice I've highlighted the whole range, and I've edited the cell and uh, the, act, the formula in the active cell. So now I hold Control and Enter to populate. So that gives me 13, 15. I really want 14, so I'm going to add 1. I'm going to hit F2, plus 1. That tells us the position of where the first 11 starts. Now, we can use that information a couple times in our formula. We'll just use the mid, because I need to extract it and say, are you equal to that um, item right there? So I'm going to hit F2, and I'm going to use the mid. The mid will allow us to take some text, that text right there, and we tell it starting number 14, comma, number of characters. Well, we are always going to go. Uh, two characters. There are some with, without, but in this particular example, there's a, these are always going to be two. If we didn't have two, we'd have to do something quite different there. But right now, if I close parentheses, mid will extract that number as text. Control Enter to populate that edited formula. Now, I can use this extracted number and say, are any of you equal to this uh, value in this cell? Now, check this out. We're going to put this into the if, but let's just do the logical part. I'm going to say, are you equal to that in F4? Now, it's going to give us all falses, because notice that's a line to the right, which is, tells you it's a, a number. And this is a, a line to the left, which tells you it is a, a text, right? So we get a mismatch. That's the default behavior. Ah, but F2, I'm going to convert that number entry to text inside the formula, I'm going to join to that a null text string, double quote, double quote. That's just a, a way to convert the 11 to a from 11 number to an 11 text number. So I hit F9. You can see now it can be matched. Control Z and Control Enter to populate my formula throughout. So now if I were to change this to 14, you can see we're getting matches down here. Control Z. Now I can use that in my if. I've established with that huge formula right there just the true I need to deal with this now. Uh, so I'm going to put an if, and that's the logical test. I come to the end and comma. Now, the value if true, now I'm going to have to use not substitute, but replace. Now, if I come here, this search, actually, let me do it this way. I love this. Uh, click on the argument screen tip. Boop. And I can copy that. That's what's given us 14, right, for this particular text item here. So Control C. All right, so we're going to use that 14 again. But now, comma, the value of true, I need to take this, substitute in the 13 right there. So I'm going to 
uh, comma, and replace. Right, so the replace, the old text, is going to be this, comma, and the starting number, that's our 14. So replace needs a starting number, a position, and how many characters. So I'm going to control V. Right, so that's the start number, comma, how many characters? Well, it's always going to be two in this particular example. And what's the comma? New text, 13, F4. All right, so replace will do its trick. Now, that's only if the value of true, which means we've matched that after the third dash to that, comma, the value of false. Hey, I don't want to do anything, so I'm just taking relative cell reference one to my left. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and double click and send it down. And so there, the 11s. Only the 11s after the third dash are now 13s. If I change this to 14 before I hit Enter, you see I have. Uh, 14s down here, and now they are 13s. All right, uh, there probably is an easier way to do that, but that's all I could come up with. That's quite a doozy. All right, we'll see you next trick.